Hello, um, Mr. George, online coach, IELTS Resource Center. And today's lecture, we're going to take a look at the gap fee kind of question in IELTS reading. The gap fee kind of question we, where we have the notes completion, the table, the flowcharts, and the diagram completion question. Now, what is gap fee question in IELTS reading? That fake question type in IELTS reading is a tax where you are given a passage with some missing words, usually words that, that are important to the overall meaning of the text. Your job is to fill in these gaps with the correct words. Think of it like a like completing a puzzle where you have a text with gaps, and you need to fill in the right piece of words to fit into those gaps to make the text complete and meaningful. These missing words are often essential for the understanding or for understanding the main ideas or details in the passage. To do well in gap fee questions, you need to carefully read the passage and, and, and non read the passage to understand its context and meaning. You should also pay attention to words or phrases that come before and after the gaps because they can give you clues about what kind of words you should go in those places. Gap fee question type, uh, one of the gap fee question is the flow chart kind of question. In IIT reading session, a flow chart is a type of visual representation that may be used to assess your understanding of a process or sequence of events Flowchart questions type typically consists of a flowchart diagram that illustrates the steps or stages of a process with some information missing. Your task is to complete the missing information in the flowcharts. To do well in a flowchart question, there are some key steps you need to follow. And first, you need to carefully examine the flowcharts. The time to understand the structure and direction of the flowcharts. Pay attention to the symbols, connecting arrows, and any provided labels or headings. Secondly, read the question and options. Read the questions associated with the flowcharts and the options provided to get an idea of the type of information you need to fill in the gaps. The options might include words, phrases, or labels. Thirdly, you need to skim the text. Skim the reading passage related to the flowcharts to get an overview of the information. Look for keywords or phrases that matches the missing information in the flowcharts. When you skim the text, you also need to scan for specific details. So that takes us to step four. Here, you need to go back to the flowcharts and scan the passage more thoroughly to locate the specific detail required to complete the missing information. So you need to pay attention to any specific dates, numbers, or related vocabulary. Also, you need to make logical connections. Take this number five. How do we do this? Use your understanding of the flowcharts and the information in the passage to make logical connections and fill in the missing information. Ensure that the completed flowcharts reflect a coherent sequence of events. And the last but not the least steps here is to verify correctness. Now, how do you verify correctness? You do that by trying to double check your answers to ensure that the completed flowchart accurately represents the process or sequence of events described in the reading passage. We go back to the tables. The table also is another type of gap free kind of question. Table completion in IE reading is like a fun game where you have a table with missing information. And you need to fill in the missing parts 
just like when you play with puzzles, you have to find the right piece to complete the picture. In the ayat reading, you will be given a passage to read, and then you will see a table with some empty spaces. Your job is to read the passage carefully and find the missing information to fill in those empty spaces in the table. It's like connecting the dots to make a complete picture. There are some tips and strategies that you need to be aware in order to do well in the table completion kind of question. Number one tip here says, read the instruction carefully. Start by reading the instructions for the table completion. Pay attention to any specific requirements such as word limits or number of words you can use in each cell of the table. Secondly, you need to skim the table. How do we do this? Before diving into the passage, take a quick look at the table itself. Note the column headings and the type of information you need to fill in. Understanding the structure of the table will help you focus on the right details in the passage. Once you are done skimming the table, you go over to also skim the passage. Skim through the passage without worrying about filling the table just yet. Look for keywords and phrases that correspond to the information you need for the table. So when you skim the table, skimming and scanning play a role here because while you skim, you are going to look for specific information. You are going to look for keywords. You are going to pay attention to any numbers, dates, names, or specific detail. Then you go ahead, you have to start with the first row, which takes us to step number four, or strategies number four. Begin filling the table with information from the passage. Start with the first row and move systematically through the table. Use the keyword and information you identify in step three to find the relevant details in the passage. Remember, you can't do this without having a good paraphrasing skill. So you need to use your paraphrasing skills. In number five, often the exact words from the passage won't match the table headings. So here, you need to use your paraphrasing skills to find synonyms or rephrased versions of the information and the passage that fit in the table structure. Now we go back to number six. Here you need to maintain accuracy and coherence. You need to ensure that the information you fill in the table is accurate and coherent. Double check your answers to make sure they make sense in the context of the passage and within the table structure. Be aware of word limit. I said this earlier, and we can also find it in, in just um, in the in the information here. In, about, in, the, in, the, in the instruction as well. So you need to be aware of word limits. If there are word limits for each cell in the table, make sure your, your answers are concise and within the specified limit as instructed. If you exceed the word limit, take notes, your answer may be marked as incorrect. And remember, don't leave blanks. If you are unsure about a particular answer, make an educated guess. It is better to provide some information than to leave a cell blank. You might still earn partial credit if your guess is somewhat relevant. And check your work as well. Take us to number nine. Once you've completed the table, take a moment to review your answers. Ensure that you have filled all the required cells and double check for any spellings or grammatical error. If you find a particular cell in the table too challenging, move on. Don't get stuck. Move on to the next one and come back to it later if you have time. Remember, practice is essential if you really need to improve in the table completion kind of question. All right, let's go back to the diagram completion. Question. What is a diagram? 
A diagram is used when a text describes a certain concept, which is difficult to visualize through words only. And therefore, a visual representation, such as a picture or a drawing, makes the process clearer and easier to understand it. In IELTS reading, diagram completion questions require you to complete a diagram or a flowchart using information from the passage. So whatever you're going to do on the, you know, on the, on the diagram, there will, will be a passage provided for you. So you don't go outside the passage. You fill whatever or the missing areas in the diagram based on the information in the passage. There are some key steps when dealing with this kind of question. And the first is here is to skim the passage. Start by quickly reading the passage to get an overview and identify the key information. Look for any references to diagram, charts, or process that might be relevant for the diagram completion question. Number two here is understand the diagram. Carefully examine the diagram given in the question. So you need to pay attention to the labels headings, and the overall structure. This will give you a better understanding of what information you need to find in the passage. The passage says here, read the question and options. So you need to read the question and the options provided. Understand what the question is asking you to complete in the diagram. The options might provide clues and help you focus your search in the passage. To do this far better now, you need to scan for relevant information. Once you understand the question and the diagram, scan the passage for the specific information needed to complete the diagram. Look for keywords, look for phrases, or any related information that matches the labels or headings in the diagram. So diagram completion when a question, skimming and, sc and the scanning is not out of it. But most importantly also, you need to follow the order, which will take us to number five. The information in the passage might be presented in a different order than the diagram. So here yeah, you need to pay attention to the sequence or flow of the diagram to ensure you place the correct information in the correct section. Remember, I said earlier that synonyms and paraphrases are very, very vital when it comes to IAT reading. So the wording in the passage may differ from the labels or headings in the diagram. You need to look out for synonyms and paraphrase versions of the words in the diagram to help you recognize the relevant information. Be cautious with distractors. That takes us to number seven. What are distractors? You know, the passage might contain information that is similar, but not exactly what the diagram requires. So here you need to stay focused on the finding the specific detail that matches the diagram labels and headings to avoid tricked by distractors. You need to double check your answers. Once you have completed the diagram, review your answers and ensure that they make logical sense and are consistent with the information provided in the passage. All right, we go over to the next, which is a notes completion question. All right, let's proceed to notes completion kind of question. Note completion in IIT within is a tax where you are provided with incomplete notes, summaries, or sentences. And your task is to complete them based on the information presented in the passage. This type of question assesses your ability to understand the main idea and details in the text and requires you to use paraphrasing and contextual clues to fill in the missing information accurately. To be able to do well in this kind of question, the first thing you need to take note of is to understand the instructions. Begin by reading the instructions for the note completion tax carefully. Take note of any word limits, specific requirements, or maybe guidelines provided. 
Secondly, you need to skim these notes. Examine the incomplete notes or sentences you are given. So pay attention to any existing words or phrases and note the gaps that need to be filled. Understand the context and purpose of the notes. Thirdly, you need to skim the passage. Before you start completing the notes, skim through the relevant section of the passage. Look for information that corresponds to the gaps in the notes. Focus on identifying keywords, phrases, and details that are relevant to each blank space. I made mention of paraphrasing earlier that you need to have a good paraphrasing skill. That takes us to number four. In many cases, the exact words from the passage will not match the words in the notes. So here you need to use your paraphrasing skills to identify synonyms or rephrase the version of the information in the text. So take note of this. Okay, let's go ahead. Number five here says, start completing the notes. You need to begin by filling the missing information in the notes one by one. Start with the blank that seem the most straightforward or have a clear connections to the passage. That means you need to start with simplest and questions. You need to start with them because those ones will give you a direct answer. So start with them. This is what we call the elimination method. Do them first. Then you'll be left with um, more challenging ones. Then you can dedicate time for those ones. So you need to ensure that your answers maintain the same meaning and coherence as the original text. Also, you need to maintain accuracy and consistency. Accuracy is, is crucial in note completion question. Make sure that the information you add to the notes accurately reflect the content of the passage. Also, ensure that your answers are consistent with the style and tone of the original text. Word limit is out of it because word limit is also part of the instruction. So if there are a word limit specified for each blank space, adhere to these limits. Writing too much or too little can lead to scoring penalties. So make sure your answers are concise and within the given limits. And lastly here, review your work. Once you have completed all the blanks in the notes, take a moment to review your answers. Double check for any errors missing details or inconsistencies as well make any necessary correction any time so in summary of gap filling question the most thing you need important key you need to take note of is the read instruction remember in the instruction they may ask they may, they may give you the word limit you need to scan and skim the passage and make sure your answers are grammatical correct that means you need to look at for grammar then look out for keywords and their synonyms. These four major areas plays a key role in the gap fee kind of question I had to read. All right, subscribe to IET Resource Center online course for adequate preparation. If you need our coaching, our IET journey, we are always here for you. You can call us or WhatsApp us at plus 234 5296-4864. I am Mr. George, online coach, IELTS Resource Center.